When I was in the hospital after my accident, my uncle painted this for me, and it was mainly because I love mermaids, and he gave the mermaid a phantom arm like I have, and he gave the little turtle a phantom arm, and now I'm the inverse of my painting, and I've got a mermaid arm. One of the things the prosthetist said was, um, well, yeah, we can make it look however we want it to look. You know, we want it to be something that you gravitate towards. We want it to be something that you want to pick up and use. I was definitely nervous going to work with the prosthesis the first time because it was so new to me. And I'd originally told myself like I was gonna wait weeks and weeks until I was really good at using it before bringing it to work. I brought it to work the very next chance that I got. I just got so many good responses, so much encouragement. Everybody loved the way it looked and it just really made it that much more comfortable to wear and be around. My name is Marissa Rotenberry. I am a math teacher at Stephen F. Austin State University. I love my job. I love getting to interact with um, young minds and just being able to be a positive impact on them. One, which will give us a final answer of Z. So back in the summer of 2017, I was involved in a really bad motor vehicle accident. The glass that came through the window caused me to lose blood flow to the rest of my arm for an extended period of time. So I was in the hospital for about a month. Um, I had to have a lot of debridements. So I was having anywhere from two to three surgeries a week. I ended up with arm dynamics before I even realized like how great they are at upper limb prosthetics. I was referred and I feel like I'm just very lucky to have found them because at one point with insurance, I looked at other options and it was just, there was no comparison. I came to my prosthetic appointment with the idea of not wanting something that has an elbow that bends. I really wanted something that I could have a shorter learning curve on, something that I could pick up quickly and adapt to easily. And I just felt like an, an extra joint could complicate things for me. And so a prosthetic is a little shorter than my regular arm, but that's sort of the way I wanted it. Whenever I get to go to my appointments, I'm getting help from the prosthetist and the therapist. Say this is my scar line. I'm gonna put in perpendicular. I'm gonna press firmly okay. with, and just do nice circular motion across the scar. They're very willing to go to your place of work and help you adapt there. Willing to come into your home if that's something that you know you're comfortable with. Helping you out in your own environment with exactly the tasks that oh you're struggling with. Spinning, love setting on the prosthesis. They're not just caring about the arm. They care about me as a person. You can tell that they, they're working together to give me everything that I'm hoping for and wanting here. The style? Oh, the style is me, for sure. <laughs> I just, I know it, it helps me so much. It definitely builds my confidence in being able to do things. Um, a, a lot of the stuff just around the house and in the office and just sometimes what seems like little things, but all those little things add up to like really big things. Ready to go.